today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Dinosaur Dracula subscription box for the month of July. Imagine sitting back and wondering what retro items you could get inside a box delivered to you every single month. Well, certainly for this month, you don't have to wait any longer as I did get the July box come into the mail. It didn't come into the mail, it came from the mail. That's where it comes from. But this comes to us from the folks over at Dinosaur Dracula. I'm going to provide the link down below. So if you guys want to have Dinosaur Dracula delivered to your house every single month, the link will certainly be down below. Without further ado, let's grab ourselves our knife. We've got Hank here. Let's cut the tape on the front of the box. Put the knife to the side. I may need it, so I'm just going to put it over here for now. And let's open up the box, find out what we got in this month. Hold on a second. We need some tape cut on the side, too. Ah, it's a good thing I held on to this. Yeah, you put it over there. It's ready. It's, it's accessible. All right, let's open up the July 2015 box from the folks over at Dinosaur Dracula. First things first, some retro tissue paper dating from 1987. No, that's not true. This box is being ridiculous. We got, first things first, the Crazy Bones. Play the craze. Crazy Bones things. This pack contains four Crazy Bones uh, stickers and game card characters, 61 to 120. You can go to www.crazybones.com. Check out what's going on over at Crazy Bones. I guess this also comes to us from the folks over at Toy Craze. All right, so let's get this opened up. Have a look at the crazy bones. Well, we got safe. Safe. On the back, bowling. Every player puts the same number of go-go's on the ground. Two, you place the go-go's approximately 15 centimeters from the wall. Each player takes turns throwing a go-go and trying to knock down as many go-go's as possible. Note, the go-go's must be thrown, not rolled. Each go-go you might knock down belonging to another player is one point. If you knock down, or if you knock one of your own go-go's, uh, you must not score. Just replace it with its original position. Uh, six is the winner that the player who has the most points after three throws. Uh, seven, each player should use different color go-go's. If you are playing for keeps, the winner picks a go-go from each of the players. Go-go's are not toys and should not be eaten. Some crucial information. Don't eat your go-go. All right. Got some stickers. Some pencil sharpener. Uh, I'm assuming that's a loaf of bread or a slice of bread. Could be a loaf of bread from the front view, and if you turned it sideways, you'd have the full loaf. His friends are behind him. He, you just only see the guy in the front. Uh, an inkwell, and it looks like a pot. Pot of mashed potatoes, maybe. And as for the Go-Go's, we got a bird. A hair kind of makes it look like it's an eggplant. Maybe it's an eggplant bird. We also got... I don't know what this is. It could be a safe with some spiral thing on its chest. They're hard plastic pieces, if that was the indication to you that this was hard plastic. An inkwell or a bottle of mouthwash. And what else we got here? Stop. Okay, sounds good. So we got some Go-Go's. Go-Go's, we're gonna put these to the side. And let's resume where we left off. Next we have the changeables. <gasps> Includes one vintage McDonald's changeables figure. I always wanted one of these. Truth be told, I did. I always wanted one of these. I just never picked them up. I've gone on eBay and stuff like that, but they're always so expensive. Um, so we got a package of chicken McNuggets. This was back in the day when McDonald's was using styrofoam containers, if anybody remembers that. My mom used to make like octopus. She'd like cut out the styrofoam, make little legs, and then she'd blow a balloon. That's back in the day when you have crafts. You didn't have apps. Okay, let's transform it. So, okay, it's a dinosaur, I can see. So we're going to flip that forward. And we're going to flip the tail out. And flip the legs out. And flip the other, other, <laughs> other, Maybe there's an easy way to do it. Ah, you push from the bottom. And you get yourself, uh, well, it's a gator, dinosaur, 
Chicken Source Rex. Chicken Source Rex. Okay, we'll go with that. Chicken Source Rex. And when you're finished, these just fold up. This folds around. And uh, you got yourself a box of chicken McNuggets. This I'm going to put to the side. And I'm going to hold on to this. Safekeeping. We also have ourselves. Congratulations, you've just adopted your very own baby Dino Drac. It won't grow its fangs, cape, and bloodlust without lots of love and affection. Are you up for the challenge? You bet I am. You bet I am. Baby Dino Drac. Next we have, oh, what's this? Ninja Turtles Flix Collectible Gumball Machine. How old is this? This is dating from, I don't see, I don't see a date. Packed in China, gum product of Canada. All right, that's good. Doesn't actually say the year. I'm sure it says the year somewhere. Let's open it up. Why not? Spot may or may not consume any old gum in this review. The child's right now saying, yes. I hope he does it. I don't know why. I, 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 I get such enjoyment from watching the man eat expired gum. It doesn't even say the date on there as well. It does look old. Here's what it looks like there. Oh, 1995. Well, that's the... That's the year of the card. I'm just, I can only assume that the gumball machine is also from that time frame. A little gumball machine with Donatello. Next, we have some Fruit Loops. Toucan Sam. These are dated. Let's see if we find the year on it. The year. Oh, here we go. Best before. I don't know. 1943. It was, I guess, the time it was packaged. 02196. That can't be right. It looks like it's a new box. I'm gonna assume it's a new box. No year, no year. Well, to tell you that, well, 1995, there's a website on there, so that might be some indication. Let's open it up, why not? Yes, let's open it up. I haven't had Fruit Loops in eons. Back in the day when I had Fruit Loops, there wasn't blue Fruit Loops. For that matter, I don't think there was purple either. I think there was only just, was it orange, yellow, and red? Was that the original color of a Fruit Loop? And we got all these extra colors. I don't know. Fruit Loops are still good. I can snack on these while I'm opening up the rest of the box. And you can just sit there and say, man, I'd really like some Fruit Loops. Well, they're there. Come on in, just jump through the screen. Don't jump through the screen. We're not at that stage of technology yet. Tops, Batman, cards. Cards of which I did collect when I was younger. I had Series 1. And uh, these, I think, are... What did I say they were? Oh, Second, second C's Series. I had a whole pack of these. Well, I had a whole set of these. And I'm not just... I'm not finger-pointing here. But I did have a friend over... I say friend. Friend in school. Sure enough, the cards disappeared afterwards. I wasn't going to finger point at all. Again, I'm not a finger pointer. It just seemed a little odd that they disappeared. If he is watching these videos, he probably isn't because he's a criminal. He's maybe in jail right now because he steals people's cards. Anyways, anyways, got the Joker. When What Tim Burton wants. Looks like that's, is that in the art museum? Power of the Batmobile. I think Series 1 had white borders. These were yellow borders. Tim Burton, filmmaker. Gotham City Landscape. Computerized SFX, which is special effects. Flight of the Dark Avenger. Leap from the Bell Tower at the Nerve Center. And Getting the Worst from Grissom. That's what they look like on the back. There is also some gum. <clears throat> there is also some gum. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Gum's not really supposed to break apart in your mouth and then just disintegrate. Surprisingly, surprisingly, the flavor has held on. I don't know how that's possible. It's from like 1990. What was it? 1995? Gremlins 2, the new batch. Here we grow again. A very good sequel. The originals, the original Gremlins. 
What I liked so much, was there gum in there? Ooh, I don't know, that gum looks, it's a little brown. Let's examine the gum. Mm, the gum looks a little brown. You know what? We'll, we won't chance fate twice. Let's just leave it be. Gremlins, we have On the Town. Clamp discovers Billy. Mohawk the Mogwai. George is riled. Of course he is. Elevator Assault. Futerman to the rescue. Birth of the new Mogwais. Marla caught in a web. In a darkened corridor, corridor, Maria stumbles into something she can't see, something that blinds her, binds her hands and feet. As she turns her head in the faint light, she sees that she is caught in an enormous spider web, barely visible but strong as wire. Uh, Maria struggles, getting in deeper as she as panic grips her. It's continued on card 68. She's no dummy. We got Gizmo the Mogwai. And Mogwai's on the loose. Further going into trading cards, WCW, the official trading cards of WCW World Championship Wrestling. 1991, 12 full color cards. I ask you, where would you get something like this? All these little flashbacks of your youth. Maybe you grew up with these. Maybe you grew up with WCW. Did you grow up with the Southern Boys? No, I don't, I don't recognize them either. Sid Vicious, I recognize. Ah, staple of the 90s. That's like Parker Lewis can't lose right there, that border. Ric Flair. Woo! Nature Boy! Southern Boys. Apparently they like the Southern Boys. Missy Hyatt, who I think usually used to wear a hat. Arn Anderson, the Enforcer. Four Horsemen. Flying Brian Pillman, who I think was also, back in the day, was called Yellow Dog. He wore a yellow mask. Doom. Elegante. Who also came into uh, WWF. Fought, of course, uh, Undertaker at Caesars Palace, WrestleMania. And... I don't remember his name. <laughs> Flying Brian. The Steiner Brothers, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. And Ricky Morton. On the back, Ricky Morton started his career, as wrest uh, started wrestling as a teenager, and worked until he earned recognition by his peers, winning the world tag team title four times as one in recognition for more than, from more than peers. The fans like him too. Ricky Morton is here to stay. Rock and Roll Express. I believe he was the Rock and Roll Express. I could be wrong by that. I can't remember what Elegante was in WWF. I know somebody's going to tell me. Somebody could say, well, Spot, you should have known that. Well, I didn't actually know that Elegante was going to be in this pack of trading cards. I didn't even know that WCW trading cards were going to be inside the box of, Dra of Dinosaur Dracula for the month. The month of... Oh, what do we got here? For the month of, of July. Dino Drac, specimen number 12, actual piece of a Crystal Pepsi label. I know they're trying to bring back... Uh, uh, Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi. LA Beast, I know, is doing some real hardcore canvassing for Clear Cola. I don't know. He's going door to door. He hasn't come to my door yet. If I had like a little petition, I would sign it. I'd love to see Crystal Pepsi come back. For a specimen on Kool Aid, we've got ourselves the Rockadile Red. Artificial flavor Rockadile Red. Makes two quarts. Just add sugar, it's caffeine free. This is good be well, this is good till March 16, 2017. Giant Gonzalez. Thank you. Somebody was yelling at me the whole time. Giant Gonzalez! Thank you, Giant Gonzalez. Uh, and lastly, we've got ourselves Dino Drac July 2015 card. Opening up the brochure, little pamphlet. The Dino Drac Fun Pack Newsletter for July 2015. It's hard to believe, but a shipment of this month's boxes means that we've been doing Fun Packs all year. For a full year. Oh, my eyes. Fully, 
<laughs> Amazing, whether you've been around for one month or all 12, I can't thank you enough for keeping Dino Drac afloat. Your reward, a box of nonsense this month's fun pack includes vintage McDonald's changeable figure. Love that so much. Vintage TMNT bubblegum dispenser. Don't eat the gum. Vintage trading cards, including Batman, Gremlins, and WCW. Your very own baby Dino Drac, so cute, so deadly. A box of cereal and a rare pack of Rockadile Red Kool-Aid. Safe to eat. July 2015 mini poster and July 2015 Dino Drac specimen. A pack of Crazy Bones figures. Are they figures? I don't know. Hope you enjoy this stuff. Pair it with your favorite summer action flick and make it a night out. A uh, night out of it. Remember, the fun packs are meant to let you act like a kid for one day each month, which is certainly what I'm, I do every time I open this. July art challenge on the back of this page. Take any three characters represented in the July fun pack, Batman, a Ninja Turtle, the Kool-Aid Man, and draw and color them surfing together. Nothing on the back, but this is where you would uh, let your imagination soar. If you guys would like to have all of this, all of this delivered to your house every single month, you can click the link down below and subscribe to the Dinosaur Dracula subscription box service. Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at the July 2015 Dinosaur Dracula box. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.